Hello and welcome to It's a Sure Thing, the conscious community collective online stream show where we interview different guest speakers who are making a difference in the community. It's all about collaboration, connection and uh, showcasing what people are doing. So uh, great to have you on here. If you just uh, come on, Sarah, welcome. Um, Sarah Rose just turned up on there. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, it gives me great pleasure today to introduce our special guest who has got a new online platform for purchasing the products that he creates. This, he's an alchemist um, and he uh, works with nature and works with plant medicine, CBD oils and hemp products and he is a wealth of information about anything to do with nature. So if you if you are looking for this particular man, you may find him fossicking in the forest, or sun baking, sun bathing, or moon bathing, or anything to do with being on the land and finding the beautiful gifts that nature has to offer. So um, thank you for joining us. Please invite your friends and family. Let them know that we're here and that we're going live across 50 channels of TV on demand through the Binge Network's syndication program. So without further ado, I'd love to introduce and welcome Chris Blackmore from Herbal Hindsight. Hi, Chris. Hey, Sue. How are you going? I'm marvellous. Excited to have you on here. Yeah, awesome. Likewise. Thanks for having me on. It's awesome. So, Chris, tell us a little bit about your history and background as to what brought you to what you're doing now. Wow. And um, we've got half an hour. <laughs> I, I, I look, in, in a nutshell, obviously, it's, you, you've had a lot of different experiences. Um, but what, what's your passion behind it, I guess? Yeah, look, I guess I guess to summarize that as best as I can, um, I've, I've had an upbringing where I've had a very um, close um, uh, exposure to um, certain medicines that our world use that actually cause more problems. And it led me to become more connected to nature and to look to nature for what solutions and remedies that nature actually has to offer. Uh, that's a huge summary um however like so it's been it's been at least like when i think about it maybe like 22 years really since that journey first began um, wow. when i first connected with the first herb that started it all and and realized that um actually this is a medicine it's not what people are saying and it's not toxic like anything anything in, in balance um yeah. however everything has its place as well and yeah, and the journey, as you can imagine, has just dived very deeply in that time. And and Chris, you've got an online platform on your new website, Herbal Hindsight, which we'll put the details up later for everybody as well. And you have produced and created your own salvation products, as well as your so the infu CBD infused skincare. You've got your tinctures as well, which I'll talk about in a minute with you, just for people who don't know, your hemp oils and CBD oils and also your teas, your herbal teas. So let's just go back to the salvation because I know I was talking about this with you at the market a few weeks ago, um, and this has actually helped people with psoriasis um, and a lot of other skin conditions. Is that is that right? Yeah, like so psoriasis, eczema, um, even acne in some instances. Um, and then when it comes down to, so there's a, it's CBD is one of the main ingredients. However, there's, uh, wow, well, off the top of my head, six or seven other herbs, um, all designed to sort of help uh, stimulate blood flow to, to the area where you're putting it. So if there's inflammation, if there's nerve pain, if there's muscle pain, um, then it can help bring relief to those areas. And I've actually had more people use it on their knees than anything else. Um, and um, to give credit where credit's due, it was actually my dad that formulated this this recipe, um, using it for his lower back pain and sciatica. And it was so successful that we're like, hang on, we need to share this with everyone. So That is fantastic. So you create that yourself and pack it all up. And yeah, it's all, all made here in South Australia. Correct. And, you know, here's, here's one I prepared earlier. 
Oh, don't want you on the ball. <laughs> Excellent. All right. And so the other products, the actual CBD oils, and I, I, I know just a little bit of background information here from my personal or my father's personal experience, because I knew that you knew a lot about the oils and the um, therapeutic benefits. And I brought my dad to see you and speak with you so that you could just educate him, I guess, um, on some information that was, and, and the way you described how it worked to him um, actually made him choose to, to give it a try to help with some um, cancerous tumors and it has actually reduced them. Um, so can you share a little bit more about the benefits, the healing benefits, um, and the fact that, you know, my dad was, was afraid that he might get addicted or, you know, there's all of that kind of stuff that all that connotation that goes into it. So, uh, but this, it was, this was the pure extract, wasn't it? Of the, of the actual hemp. Um, Cor correct. So just to, to, to briefly um, distinguish the difference between cannabis of which people know to be as like a psychoactive, like a drug sort of component and hemp, Hemp is any strain of cannabis that contains 0.3% or less THC, the psychoactive component. Um, uh, and the CBD oil I work with is extracted from a combination of um, strains, so multi-strain multi, multi um, high CBD uh, hemp for its grown for its CBD content. Um, as for like, wow, to answer the question, the, the easiest way to answer that, the initial question is of the benefits is first and foremost, everyone has an endocannabinoid system. Um, this is uh, the main regulatory system in the body that maintains homeostasis. Uh, this is also found in, in all other mammals. So dogs, cats, rats, horses, as just to throw that out there. Um, so I have worked with some pets as well as humans. And um, yeah, yeah. Uh, First and foremost, it's an anti-inflammatory. The best, easiest way I can explain this from the years of observation is, and, and my research is, the stress is the biggest killer. Stress is the, the main cause of all dis-ease. And so being the endocannabinoid system is there to um, maintain homeostasis and bring about uh, ease, the, the opposite, to relieve the disease. Um, if we have, if we're overly stressed, we are releasing, and this may be really black and white, broken down but that's that's fine for this this question um when we're stressed we release ex uh heightened levels of cortisol the stress hormone which creates inflammatory markers in the body which over time turns into disease so if we can actually relieve relieve the cause of stress and and or relieve our reaction or response to stress because obviously we don't have control over the external world to some degree it's also it's more so about how we handle it so it help, in that instance it not only can may help with um physical ailments um relating to inflammation such as you know muscle pain knee uh, joint pain knee pain back pain whatever um um athletes use it as well but also things like anxiety you know if you're if you've got inflammation and um you're you're in pain you're going to struggle to sleep Therefore, you're, um, if you're not sleeping enough, you're going to be anxious. If you're anxious, you're not going to be sleeping. So there's this like vicious cycle that continues. Yeah. So if it even just helps with one element of that, like I've had many people come to me over the years and just come, uh, you know, can it help with this? And there's evidence that suggests that it may, but there's no silver bullet for everyone. Um, everyone's different. It's super subjective in how it works. Uh, it really comes back to your own diet as well, and your own, of course, your own men mental um, mental health. Your your own what you're telling yourself, what you're thinking to yourself, and the monkey and mind. So, and so, like, just to to, to like the, the the other thing that can stimulate the endocannabinoid system, other than CBD um, and various other compounds in the plant, um, including terpenes, um, is sunshine and exercise surprise surprise so these things help modulate our immune system keep our body strong healthy and ready for whatever may come so i mean yeah like any, anything neurological um there's anti-cancer properties anti-proliferative which means it helps stop the growth and spread of tumors as as your dad discovered yeah. um um yeah oh god like the list just goes on and on and on there's so many things that are being discovered about it every day as well um, it's hard to keep up yeah so with you've got the oils so how do people actually take them 
So is it a few drops under the tongue every day or what, what do you... Oh, look, so this is really subjective once again, and it really depends on the individual, depends on the ailments that they're looking to maybe treat. Um, sure. So, I mean, there's some things that may benefit from topical use. Uh, there's other things that may benefit from um, sub, what's called sublingual use, so under the tongue. Um, ideally on an empty stomach has been my observation, unless someone's having a high a diet in high fatty acids. So if they're eating a lot of avocado or avocado oil, um, getting their omega-3, 6, and 9, so fish oils, hemp seed oil, um, then it'll actually absorb faster with that in the system. Um, then there's, you know, there's people can vaporize the CBD oil as well, um, depending on how it's prepared. Um, and there's also, I'm trying to think of the term, but there's also another method. Um, the, the technical term evades me, but it's basically you can absorb it through the belly button. And there is there are some people that, that sort of disagree with this, but I know people that have done it and have had huge responses. Oh, and I can't forget this one, the feet. The feet have the largest pores in the body. And there's actually a, a woman I can give you an example of who um, had a 20-year-old son with um, severe autism, epilepsy, and Tourette's. And it was next to impossible to get it, him to take it. So she'd rub it into the soles of his feet. And the wow. she, she, she experimented on herself first to see if it was going to be effective. And the first thing she said was bizarre was she could taste it. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, reflexology, you've got all the organs, all the bodies on the feet. It's also on the mm -hmm. hands um, and on the face too. So that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. I just want to recognize that, that Ree has just come on board saying hi. And yeah, we'd love to love for you to bring your friends and family to be here with us. So there is a way to do that. And there's a little button somewhere, I believe. <laughs> Um, when you've invited people, just drop a heart in the uh, comments section as well. So, yeah. Okay. So next up, shall we talk about your teas? Because I also bought your Winter Blues tea. Nice. That's what I'm drinking right now. <laughs> oh, winter Blues. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. So and um, so we'll talk about that and then we'll talk about where, where people can find you as well. Sure. So um, just to give people a visual of why it's called Winter Blues, I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. I'm going, let's, yeah. let's see if I can pour it. Yeah, yeah. You can kind of see the blue. Yeah, you can see that now pouring it. Yeah, so this is a really dark blend, this one. Um, so the bluing comes from a, um, a, a herb called um, butterfly pea flower. And I've put a little pinch of um, lime, dried lime peel in there as well. The citrus helps extract the color. Um, this this recipe came literally came to me while making a cup of tea one day, and the, the herb spoke to me and said, "Hey, Chris, make this." I'm like, "What?" I didn't know how it was going to taste. Um, we've got lavender, we've got herb robert. Lavender is great for anxiety, calming the nervous system. Herb robert's a blood cell oxygenator, helps open, uh, helps to increase uh, blood flow to the to the uh, to the cells. Um, so it helps to alkalize the body. Um, we've got so the butterfly pea flower, which is good digestive aid and also good for anxiety we've got blue lotus flower which is uh relaxing without being sedating so once again good for anxiety um we've got um two expectorants we've got colt's foot and malin which um, are good for helping to relieve um mucus excess mucus build up on the lungs um so good for treating colds and, and that sort of thing uh what else have we got there's something that's evading me. I don't have the packet in front of me, do I? Um, Lots of, all... but it's all it's all oh. from the earth, yeah. It's all absolutely, natural. and it's all it, that's our medicine cabinet, isn't it, out there? Oh, look, absolutely, and it's delicious. This actually turned out to be really, really tasty. Oh, it also has Damiana and Tulsi. How can I forget? So oh. great for anxiety, depression. Um, Damiana is a kidney tonic, um, and uh, also good at balancing hormones, particularly in women. Uh, Tulsi is the queen of herbs. It's the physical manifestation of Lakshmi, which is um, in Indian you know, Hindu belief, um, the goddess of prosperity and good health. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I could go on and on and on about all those herbs. So that scratches the surface. And just to speak to your comment, like the way what I've come to learn is the earth is basically a refrigerator. And we just need to know what shelf to look on to make yeah. To, to put a feast together and once you know what shelf to look on and what ingredients is what it's it's all there we it's you know there's there's herb for literally everything and i'm just i've just noticed um 
Sarah so Ra Rao has has asked a question. Um, does the tea help with weight loss at all? Um, Good question. Actually, yeah, great question. So um, I was going to say absolutely. I'm going to say absolutely. There's evidence to suggest that it can. And like with anything, it's consistency, but also what else, you know, there's obviously more than one variable involved in, in that. Um, however, yeah. Um, so Tulsi for sure. Um, one of the ways Tulsi would work is it's excellent for detoxing. How did I forget that? Um, so it's excellent for detoxing heavy metals and um, inorganic compounds, um, including fluoride. And that's been shown in various studies. So um, one of the things with excess weight on the body is it's an accumulation of toxins in the in the cells. And so when your body when you start to detox, your body you know it's store it's it's highly intelligent. And it's like we 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 don't realize how incredibly intelligent and loving our bodies are of us by storing this 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 you know dross within us to protect yeah. our organs. And then so as we can find the right ingredients to release it, then the weight would just come off. Beautiful. So and Reese just asked, are these all in the one tea? So that was only the one tea you were describing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's all in the one blend, that, absolutely. That's all in the one tea. And um, um, so you've got how many teas have you got at the moment? Okay, so you we've got the Winter Blues. Purple. I've yeah. then got Damiana on its own. I've got Tulsi on its own. I'm about to put um, uh, make some uh, Herb Robert on its own um, as there's been some calls from some customers for that. And... Um, yeah, it's it's like I say, it's excellent for alkalizing the body. So generally speaking, any anyone dealing with cancer or anything, like basically disease can only thrive in an acidic environment. So if we can alkalize the environment, then we can help to relieve relieve the the you know the negative effects of any diseases with with the intention and hope of actually you know um, treating them. Um, I also have chaga tea. Chaga is a medicinal mushroom, or um, well, technically, it's a polyphore. So, um, so it's a growth um, that grows on uh, birch trees in Siberian forests and uh, also forests in China um, and North, North America. Um, however, my chaga comes from Siberia. Um, it comes from a business called Chaga Laboratories in the Czech Republic. And they actually contacted me last year, which was very exciting. And they, uh, I'm, I'm now their Australian supplier or wow. provider or distributor. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's that's phenomenal. Where do I begin with that? That's also excellent for detoxing, and um, it's really rich in vitamins and minerals. Uh, may also offer weight loss benefits. Uh, it's a good alternative for coffee. It can help with. Um, it doesn't stimulate you like caffeine does, but it, it can give you natural form of energy, um, and help with the detoxing and of and the withdrawal side of it as well. It's also really rich in um, triterpenes, which. Uh, uh, indirectly interact with the endocannabinoid system so good for um immune system modulating so helping to keep it balanced um what else have we got um <laughs> uh, there's so much there's heaps more to that it's it's hard to keep up with all of it but yeah it's it's awesome it's re awesome. really really good for our immune systems for anxiety depression and just staying present and focused yeah. It's a good, so good source of goodness from nature once again. Right. Uh, and I think that's all the teas I've listed. Oh, sorry, nettle, stinging nettle. I only just released that last week. I oh. nearly sold out of it already. So stinging nettle, urtica, ur uh, dietica. Um, I'm just one of those freaks that remembers the Latin names. Um, is an old <laughs> favourite. Most of us have come across stinging nettle at some point in time. Um, it's an exceptionally awesome herb. There are studies that have shown... Uh, monks who have lived off of nothing but nettle, uh, meditating in caves for months on end. And the only side effect is they start to turn green because it's very rich in chlorophyll. Um, and that's, of course, temporary. So they start to turn green, yeah. And, um, but, I mean, like, yeah, it's great for the liver, great for the kidneys, um, just really rich in vitamins and minerals and all the good stuff. Yeah. Fabulous. So you attend the Walunga Market. And yeah, so every Saturday or so. So, so uh, since um, the end of May, um, I've been attending the Green Light Organic Market, to be more specific, because there's a farmers market as well. Um, so it's on the corner of Oldinga Road and Main Road um, in Wollonga, um, yeah. between nine a.m. and one thirty p.m. Roughly depends on the weather and attendance, as you know, it might go a little bit later. Yeah. Um, or pack up a little bit earlier if the rain hits us, which has happened once. Um, yeah. 
and yeah, it has been. It started off once a month, and then it went very quickly once a fortnight, and then next thing it's once a week. And uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm making the effort to be there every week, and it's really well received. Awesome. And also, you're going to be at Enlighten Adelaide this year. Woo Absolutely. Yeah, it's still number 22. I love the well, number. We've, got you there. we've, got you there. we've been wanting you at Enlighten Adelaide for so many years. And um, and now you're ready. You've got the products. You've got the information. So you'll be having your your marquee on, uh, on the lawn there at Partridge House on Saturday, the 4th of December, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Just a little plug for for all the other exhibitors as well who will be joining us at that amazing well-being festival that's been running for 12 years. So now I did want to talk to you about the tink, I don't know whether I'm pronouncing this right, the tinctures. Tinctures, yep. Tinctures. So can, what is a tincture? Okay, so a tincture is, uh, generally speaking, it's an, an alcohol extract. Okay. Um, so it's where you get, uh, get the compounds or parts of a plant sorry you get parts of a plant whether it be the root or the flower or the the you know the topical part the stems or the or the um the leaves um regarding depending on what plant is you or you could use them all depending on what it is and you soak them in alcohol and there's a various process i put them through and there's so many different ways of doing it but um yeah to extract the compounds and the most recent tincture i've made was pine pollen Okay. Uh, of which is only available um, two to three weeks of every year during the transition between winter and spring. So I've gone out and I've wild harvested it myself and I've just had to time it um, and collect it as much as I can and be grateful that I don't have allergies because I get covered. It's in my ears, my nose, everywhere. It's great. It's great fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, um, little pixie you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I love your little intro there. Yeah, you you often find me in a forest foraging. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's such a beautiful place. It's it's you know my home away from home, and you know my earthly embodiment is a bear after all. So yeah, yeah, I'm right at home when I'm in the forest. Yeah. Um, and and yeah, like the reason, the main reason I was called to this is once again, it's excellent for detoxing um, uh, toxins from the body, inorganic materials, particularly xenoestrogens, which are the toxic form of estrogen found in BPA and you know, GMO um, products, um, which throw our hormones out of balance. So it helps to balance hormones in both men and women. But um, particularly with men, it's also um, a really, really rich source of testosterone, natural source of testosterone, um, which is not all that common in nature and in this form as well. Um, once again, good for the immune system. Uh, there's over 200 um beneficial compounds in it so i won't sit here and list them all um <laughs> and um, it's just, it's just yeah. in the feedback of a of a dear friend and, and customer who uh, who got some off of my first batch um it's good juju she loved it and, and i got her another bottle so um i don't have a fresh of uh, the new bottles in front of me but there's there's my old one um the new one i oh, wish i had it right in front of me i don't I was, it was so beautiful. It was such a beautiful totem. When I was harvesting it, I had a ladybug landing right on top of the pine pollen. So I, it posed a bit for me. I got some amazing photos, and that's the logo. So I just thought I'd share oh. that. It's such a beautiful, beautiful totem, beautiful omen. Um, yeah, lady luck. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I've got another um, question from Sarah. Are there any laxatives in the tea, or is it all? Okay. Okay, so to be spe more specific, not not laxatives as such. However, um, the nettle, for example, is known to be a diuretic, and diuretic basically means it helps to stimulate um, the you know the release of um, of urine and toxins. So it promotes the detoxification process, um, but not a laxative in the sense of like oh, I've gone blank. There's not Metamucil, but what Metamucil is made from <laughs> in the natural form. Um, yeah. There are natural laxatives. And look, I can, there's, I, I'm open to, um, if if possible, I'm very resourceful and I've got some fantastic supplies. Um, there are teas. Senna is one of them. It's not the one I was thinking of though, but there are some teas that I can get that are laxatives if it's needed. So I'm happy to sort of do orders here and there as well. Yeah. And so really, if anybody's got any questions whatsoever about, uh, any natural plant medicine, you are definitely the go-to person and you're definitely the go-to person for me for everything to do with that. Um, and even if you can't source it, you can point people in the right direction of where to source it as well um, and, yeah, give them the right information. So um, so they can get they can get your products from your website? Absolutely. 
Yeah, and so that's an online, online. They can get it online. Can they come and pick it up from you as well, or just at the markets? They can. Um, I mean, you know, it's just a matter of catching me. I'm so busy. I'm all over the place. So the mar market's one of the easiest ways of doing it. Um, however, yeah, the website and um, if if people want to contact me direct, there's also the ability to book in a consult, a 30 minute complimentary consult with me, um, particularly around the CBD oil side of things. If people have any questions or they get confused because there's so many different products to choose from, um, that's that's an option as well. So fantastic. OK, so a, a 30 minute free session with you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best to keep it to 30 minutes. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, how are you going to do that? But <laughs> that's okay. All You'd right. Be surprised. Yeah, that is <laughs> absolutely. So we'll just um, put it out there if there's any other questions before we actually show a beautiful YouTube video. And it goes for one and a half minutes or something, which we'll do shortly to, uh, to leave everybody with, which is a beautiful um, invocation about you and herbal hindsight and your connection to, to nature it's a very beautiful um youtube to leave everyone with so awesome and look just wanted to um do a quick plug so for september to celebrate the start of spring um i've um, offered a 10 percent off um, all products uh for the market so if you go to the facebook page there's it's it's pinned at the top um if you want to come see me at the markets um just make a mention of this and um Maybe a little something extra might be included with that as well. Um, so, you oh, know, it's a sure thing. There's no harm in asking. And, uh, and, and, and look, I want to extend the 10% off to the website as well. The website is also open globally. I've managed to work out how to do it. So if anyone is outside of Australia, um, that can absolutely happen. I have a PayPal link to it now. So you can pay with credit cards or there's bank transfer. So all of the technical stuff is all there. Um, and I, it doesn't exist right now, but I'm going to make a coupon code. It's a sure thing. Okay. How, how does that sound? That's does perfect. It? Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Um, and the other thing is you are on our global wellness directory on Enlightened Tribe, the Enlightened Tribe directory, which is at suesure.com.au, my new website, um, amongst uh, some other amazing practitioners as well. So people can get your information from there as well as, your actual website, which is herbalhindsight.com, and your Facebook page, <clears throat> which is, <clears throat> excuse me, Herbal Hindsight. Um, so there's all those different things to uh, get in touch with you. And Sarah's just asked, do you post to Queensland? Absolutely. I post Australia-wide. Yeah, I'm, I've got a few clients in Queensland already, so more than happy to. All right. So thank you very much, Chris. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, please let your friends know about It's a Sure Thing. Next week, we have got Mary G from Talk Out Loud Australia with us, and she'll be talking about her um, teenage, uh, teenage suicide prevention programs. So thanks so much, Chris. Thank you very much to everybody. Awesome. Have a great thank week. You. Um, yeah, thanks for the 10% discount as well for everyone. Till next week. Take care. An invention of sorts, a vision, a plan for the future, an idea, to reconnect and relive, to revive, the rediscovery of something magical, natural, nurturing and life sustainable, an innovation with the inspiration from the imagination to sustain creation. A quantum leap backwards to a time once forgotten. A return home to the secret garden. To pursue the possibilities and potential of a long lost friend. To open your body, mind and soul to the roots of success, the flower of life, the vine of death and the tree of knowledge. To taste once more the forbidden fruit of our time. To sow the seeds of glory and triumph. To plant the seedlings of seduction. To create an eruption of a dormant art, a lifestyle, a tradition. And with it, 
you too can and will grow into something you have been once before, something long forgotten. <laughs>